What's up everybody? Welcome to another product review. Guys, I'm really close to that 1000 subscriber mark. Pretty pleased with sugar on top. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I've been really looking forward to reviewing this queue. It's another queue from J Flowers and I absolutely love it. You can get it with a white lizard grip, a black lizard grip or even a blue lizard grip. So let's see what we get here. We get a carbon fiber shaft, three different wrap options at $300. The EQ is well balanced and the hit on it is excellent. Now let's get it on. Now, once again, I'm extremely pleasantly surprised with how good a $300 cube from J Flowers actually is. There is plenty of power in the cube, and I really do think that it racks up against much, much more expensive cues. I think it's pretty cool how you can get it with either a blue lizard grip, a white one, or perhaps you prefer the black version. My personal favorite was the blue one, so that's what I'll be shooting with during this review. The design on this queue kind of has like a Poseidon feel to it. Even though it's an affordable queue, it has a lot of specifications. So let's go to the official international website, jflowersqs.com and take a look at them. As you can see, they've got queues running from $300 all the way up to $3,000. Today's queue, the JF1011, belongs in the aspiring category. They've actually got four or five different models around $300 and all of them equally impressive to me. So as you can see, you get to choose between uh, different grip options, what kind of shaft you want. You can actually get a low deflection wooden shaft if you want uh, and also what kind of pin option you want. Uh, currently, there's only the 3811 available. They used to have the 388 as well, but that's no longer available. I've been told that uh, within a couple of months, they will reintroduce the 388 pin on this model. The EQ will arrive at your doorstep, weighing in at between 19 and 19 and a half ounces. There is something cool I really want to show you. Hang on, let me find the right image. So yeah, if you take a look here, you will see that it has four carbon fiber inlays inside of the butt. This will help with the cue's stability while shooting with it, but it also prevents warping. That's a pretty cool little feature for a $300 cue. When you buy the $35 extension, it will come with uh, another bumper. You just swap out the default one with the one that's included. Moving on to the carbon fiber shaft. It's 29 inches and it has a pro taper on it. It actually comes with a pretty high-end tip on it. It has a 12.5 Mori multi-layered medium tip. And as you can clearly see, it comes with a black ferrule. Having joint protector is really important, so I was really glad to see that they are included both for the shaft and for the butt part of it. Alright, so, so far so good. It looks good, it has great specification, a carbon fiber shaft included, high end tip, everything is in order, but how does it play? Oh, and by the way, you should really stick around to the end of this video. You're gonna help me pick out the next product to review. I've got some really interesting options for you to choose between. Okay now, so if a Q sells for $300 and that's including a carbon fiber shaft, is the shaft actually any good? Yes, it is. Introducing the $300 Qs in the Aspiring series, I think it's a deliberate marketing effort from J Flowers' side. They are clearly underpriced and the shaft, it plays awesome. 
I've reviewed a bunch of cues and shafts and I really don't think that this shaft should take the back seat for any of the higher priced ones. At least not if you take price versus quality into account. Don't get me wrong, the more expensive ones, they have more and better customization options. But if you can live with this shaft, the way it comes right out of the box, you've done a great deal. J Flowers might not be the most famous brand, but I'm sure it provides a lot of bang for your buck. And I really wish that I had these kind of affordable cues available back when I started playing. I started playing in the early 90s and back then uh, we just played with Miyuchis and Qtech for the most part. So I played seriously for about 6-7 years and then I had a 20 year break and when I got back, wow, things had really changed in the equipment area. Nowadays it's all about low deflection and it seems that carbon fiber shafts are a step in the right direction for pool's evolution. I said it before and I'll say it again, carbon fiber shafts does not have any low deflection compared to low deflection wooden shafts. The primary reason to buying a carbon fiber shaft is that it's way more durable and it's consistent over time. A wooden shaft can change depending on what kind of environment you bring it into. When it comes to the deflection on the shaft on this cue from J Flowers, it's very similar to the deflection on way more expensive carbon fiber shafts out there. If I was an aspiring player, I would definitely check out this queue. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't leave just yet. I'm gonna give you the opportunity to help me pick out the next product to review, so stick around to the very end. But guys, please first, please hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. As soon as we've got a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away a free queue. Alright, so here's what you can choose between. Another affordable J Flowers Q, a high end J Flowers Q, about $3,000, the Jacobi L5, about $2,000, a mid range Perry Q, some brake cues, some jump cues, or perhaps a carbon fiber shaft from an unknown custom Q maker. So please write in the comment section whatever you want me to review the next time. And guys, thank you so much for watching.